There are shows with psychics. And there are shows with doctors. But there's no show like the psychic and the doc. Your practical paranormal power unleashed. This show synthesizes the talents of world-class medium Mark Anthony, the psychic lawyer, psychic explorer, and street smart spiritualist, behavioral psychologist, Dr. Pat Basili. All subjects are on the table and no topic is taboo. Inspiration, insight, action, and fun as Mark Anthony connects callers with loved ones in spirit in tandem with Dr. Pat's fresh, no-nonsense, street smart, intuitive insights. And she is hilarious. Extraordinary problems require extraordinary solutions, which may come from this side or the other side. This is The Psychic. Everybody, it's Thursday and another episode of The Psychic and the Doc. And uh, this has been a very auspicious week. I mean, today is the, um, or yesterday was the birthday of Susan B. Anthony, a women's rights activist. Then, of course, we lost uh, film icon Raquel Welch, which ah. uh, really, really hit home. But the episode tonight has a theme which is asking all of you to look inward. And the theme is, are you the calm or are you the storm? Ooh, I like the way you did that, Dr. Pat. <laughs> Yeah, that, I almost had like a lightning <laughs> bolt on the end of that. And, you know, it's, it's a good theme because, you know, everybody assumes, oh, you know, um, everything in my life is everyone else's problem. So it's got to be them. And it's like, really? Are you the calm or are, are you, you the storm? <laughs> well, you know, you know what, why we're talking about this tonight for a couple of reasons. And, you know, one of them, one of them has to do with a phrase that we have in our society. And I agree with you, Mark. I mean, we've lost a couple of people. Um, you know, there's just a couple of things that I think we're watching, right? Um, you mentioned earlier Raquel Welch. And I I mean, you, there are just some people, I think, if people were to think about this generation, they could never imagine, okay, I'm going to go out on a limb. They can never imagine somebody like Taylor Swift or Beyonce not be in here it's kind of like when we lost prince there was a generation yeah. and then there was michael jackson and people are still like right no he's not he's he's here uh, and then whitney Houston. so there are people that when they go patrick swayze he was another one um uh oh my god i mean if you think about mr bozeman who everybody when he didn't, when he didn't come back as Black Panther, some yeah. of us knew what he was going through. But even Olivia Newton-John, when people make that change, we wonder. And you just think people are going to be around forever. And of course, uh, Mariska Harkate is the daughter of Raquel Welsh. Um, and it's just fascinating for us when we think about this calm storm, because what is the expression, which I have to tell you, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't agree with the calm before the storm. Who came up with that? Was that like a biblical thing? I, what, what was that? I, I think it's a sailor thing. And I'll tell you why. Okay, living on, tell me, tell me. Living tell on me. the ocean, as I have my whole life, there's an eeriness to when a tropical storm is coming that all of a sudden everything gets calm. And so especially when a hurricane's coming and the barometric pressure starts dropping, what we notice is all of a sudden there's no birds anywhere because they feel the, the changes, all the birds leave. And then you start seeing uh, big crabs coming off the beach and burrowing. And so there's this eerie calm. And then, boy, does that ever end. <laughs> and then it starts whipping up. And, and my dad, my dad was in the Navy and he would always teach me, you know, look at the sky, look at the water, do this. And and so the calm before the storm, I believe, and if one of the callers knows differently, please call in and enlighten us. But I believe that that's a, um, um, a saying from from sailors for yeah. centuries. Yeah. And, you know, it's fascinating when we think about it, because we don't think about the calm before. I don't think about the calm before the storm, you know, because I'm I'm so like appreciative of the calm. But 
whatever you, if you read, um, oh, did I screw that up? It was Jane Mansfield and not Raquel Welsh. Thank you. Thank you, Rock. Rocky says, no, that was Jane Mansfield. Okay, I'm living on another planet. Thank you, Rocky. Um, I think I want them all to be related. Uh, but, but one of the things I love about this is when you read about things, for example, when you read, I don't care if you read scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, whatever you read, I don't remember a calm before the storm. I remember the storm and yeah. then something better. And I was listening to, you know, somebody I listened to a lot. And today was a conversation about what happens when your life gets shaken up. And there's this dialogue that, that if you are going through a shakeup, a suffering, a pain, that on the other side is exponentially something better like as if you were planned to have to, to go through that. Now, I am not alluding to that about death. I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. But it's fascinating when I think about that. So should it be the storm before the calm? Well, there's that too. <laughs> um, you know, and I know I keep thinking about hurricanes because I've been through like 16 of them. Yeah, right. And in the eye of the hurricane now, there's the, there's the storm. And then all of a sudden when the eye goes over you, it's so calm i mean you go outside and nothing's moving and i can see how very uh, yeah how people who didn't understand that you were in the middle of the storm and <clears throat> the last time i was in the eye of a storm actually i, I went to rocky's house because she lives inland and we all went swimming in her pool and it's like, and I remember, uh, my, you know, my uh, somebody said, what are you doing? I go, when's the last time you can say I went swimming <laughs> during a hurricane? Uh, and then we went out front and we're looking down the street. And all of a sudden you could see like, <laughs> it's coming right at us. I was like, oh my God. And we ran, yeah. you know, back in the house and, yeah. and batten down the hatches. So you had the storm, then the calm, and then the storm. And in a way that may be a metaphor for life too, because you do yeah. have the storm and then things seem like, they're calm, but is the calm a real calm or a deceptive calm before something else hits? So, well, we got a lot. We got a we lot, got a of, lot of talking about. And this Dude. is a live call in show tonight. And we love doing that for all of you. Uh, if you don't know the number, it's 1 800 930 2819. And of course, you will get to have a conversation with either Brett or Jacob or anybody uh over there who's picking up the phones it might even be jessica it could be I, I don't know um but we're ready to take your calls uh one of the things i love about this show is that whatever it is it is <laughs> it, 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 this this is true oh and for the benefit of the callers when you call in make sure that you're only on your phone you're not on a speaker phone right. do not have the speakers on your computer or your radio in the background because what will happen is it'll cause distortion and feedback, particularly um, when Dr. Pat and I start uh, talking and 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 uh, working with you. And when I'm connecting with spirits, everything yeah. that I do is about tuning into frequency. So if I have <laughs> and barking dogs and screaming and all this in the background, um, that's not going to work, you know, because we're here to help. So work with us and make sure that your background is the calm, not storm that was like a little storm that was, that was a like storm. a baby storm yeah those are the storms we like the little ones that was know, like a baby that, storm the baby storm i'm and, gonna tell i'm gonna tell you if you knew my mama and my, my stepmama oh my goodness you did not want to get her riled up you just did not want to get her riled up that was a whole lot of something coming at you uh Remember, everybody, we're taking your calls. Let's kick it up. Brett, who do we have first today? All right. We have Jerry from South Florida. Hi there, Jerry. Hi. Hi, Hi Jerry. How can we help you today? Hi, Dr. Pat. Hi, Mark. Um, I My uh, family is going through a storm now with... Uh, my granddaughter has been very sick, and we just can't find out what the cause of her her illness is. I was wondering if Mark could um, mm. 
connect with someone on the other side for me. Oh, we'll give it a shot. Let's see what happens. All right, Jerry, hold on. I'm getting... I'm getting a mail energy coming through. Now, he is connected to you through your mail side, your father's side of the family. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a father. It could be an uncle. It could be, you know, a brother. Okay. Um, but let me work with him a bit and see if I can get him to give me some more information. Oh, okay. Burning sensation all the way from his throat through his esophagus into his stomach. Wow. Whatever was brother. going That's your brother. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah this, okay. Okay. Um, and, um, yeah, he, he definitely uh, was having a very, very difficult time and he wants you to know that uh, he didn't want to go, but he, he, on one hand, he didn't want to go on another. He said that when he finally left his body, it was such a relief of peace. Okay. Um, now your granddaughter, let's see if he can give us some insights with her. Um, this is fascinating. He's talking about her red blood cells, her red blood cells. There's something going okay. on with her on a cellular level. And it's interesting because in some things, like I know with diabetes, um, the membranes of your red blood cells reject insulin, but that doesn't seem to be what this is. This is inside and um, it's like, She's anemic, but not anemic, anemic, but not anemic. So there's something going on with her with protein and with the metabolization of protein. And it looks to me, what he's telling me is let's start with her diet. Let's get her on a completely different eating uh, approach to eating. So my recommendation, and then I'll turn you over to Dr. Pat, based on what your brother's telling me, is you're going to have to get to like a holistic doctor, a nutritionist um, to do um, a whole evaluation to see what to do with her diet. Dr. Pat, what, what's your take on this? I think uh, we don't, um, can I say, just tell you, she was diagnosed with celiac disease. And we, all, we did do the elimination diet. And she's on a celiac uh, diet now. Now, right now, it's um, she's she's getting very dizzy, and um, she uh, she's really been out of school for a, a while now because mm -hmm. she she um, gets dizzy spells. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first of all, let me say we're not medical doctors. Doctors, right. So anything we're saying to you, we're going to talk about our own experiences or in Mark's case, what comes through from a loved one. Um, can I ask you a question? Where, does she, where, where does she live? What part of the country? Um, she lives in South Florida. Okay. I'm not in a doctor. Delhi. I'm going to say it a million times, but the minute you came on, there was only one word that came to mind. Lyme. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I will tell you, South Florida, North Florida, South Beach, North Beach, Midwest, Southwest, Africa, Australia, but anybody in the Northeast. Did she visit the Northeast at all last summer? No. Okay. No. Is she, tell me, can you just give me a one more little bit more? I'm going to ask you, how long has she been feeling this way? Quite a while. We had her to a neurologist um, in 2020, and the neurologist suggested also the elimination diet. And um, then she um, was diagnosed with the celiac disease. What do you think? Let me, what do you think about that? Do you think she's got celiac disease? Well, apparently they did testing and that's what the testing showed. But I think that's not what, I don't think that's what she's having trouble with now. That's now, my question. Uh, what Mark said about the, the protein and, uh, uh, well, let me make sure I got what he said. Um, She's anemic, but she's not anemic. So there's something with that. She also has a blood clotting disorder. Her blood clots too fast. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, I, 
my my take, Dr. Pat, that I'm getting from from Jerry, that I'm getting from your brother, is that you're on the right path. Like this is not a quick fix. And I would continue okay. with uh, the diet, but I still would recommend um, that you consult with a holistic doctor, you know, and one that's very reputable and credible to see like um, the elimination diet's one thing, but there may be additional foods and things that are necessary because all too often okay. in, in Western medicine, um, the approach is, okay, it's just this, whereas Eastern um, Asian medicine, it's a cross-disciplinary approach. And I think that that's what's required here. That's the sense that I'm getting. And, and remember, that when Dr. Pat said she's not a doctor, she is a doctor, but she's a psychologist, not yes, a I medical. Understand. She's a doctor. Yes. Well, no, well, I know, but I, I know this is the psychic and the doc. And she, yes, <laughs> she has a PhD. She is a psychologist. She's world famous. Okay. But we're not medical doctors. I'm a medical intuitive, or rather, spirits yeah. give me medical information. But when a spirit presents a medical issue to me, that's it. It's a medical issue. That's why I say it could be this and it checked. Well, I mean, let, let's say um, I get broccoli and I say, oh, broccoli. Now, an inexperienced um, intuitive would say, make sure she eats broccoli. But maybe what the spirits are trying to tell us is broccoli is going to make her condition worse. And I'm just yeah. using that as an example. Mm -hmm. So that's why when, when things mm -hmm. come to me and I say, this is what I'm getting, does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. It's not, you know, I'm not throwing things out randomly. I'm mm -hmm. trying to understand what they're communicating to me from a different dimension. Yeah. Yeah. So Jerry, um, I think you're on the right path. Yeah, I just have one on. other thing to say. Um, I'm going to suggest this as a person to a person. You have doctors okay. in Southern Florida that specialize in Lyme disease. I would find a doctor in Southern Florida that, that gives the full Lyme panel because you have nothing to lose. Uh -huh. It's blood work. Okay, you have nothing so to lose. Full line, blood pan, uh, full blood line panel. It's a full line panel. And you have a number of, I don't know when you say South Florida, I didn't, that's like, like my, my family lived in Homestead. Delray, that's like, Delray. that's real South Florida. Yeah. 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 Where, where, where do you live? Where does she live in, in Florida there? Delray Beach. Yeah. Del that's, Delray okay. Beach, near Boca. Okay. okay. Near Boca Okay, if you Google uh, Lyme doctors in Florida, you're going to get a couple of them. There's one in particular, um, very highly rated. And, and what you're doing is there's no harm in getting the test. It just costs money. <laughs> and the only reason yeah. I'm bringing it up is I have been a, an advocate for chronic Lyme disease for, I don't know, like 15 years. And what you describe, I know what celiac looks like. I know what it feels like. I wasn't aware it caused neurological issues. See, that was the trigger for me. That's the thing I glommed mm -hmm. onto. And the minute Mark talked about blood, then it just popped up. Okay. Again, we're not doctors, but I'm just saying that's the first thing that came up to me for me. And there's no harm. Got okay, it? Okay, great. I appreciate your help and, and also yeah. more. But can I um, just also say one it. last thing? It doesn't hurt to get second Absolutely. opinions. Absolutely. It yes. doesn't hurt to get second opinions. Actually, the second and third opinion is, is what saved my life personally. So it doesn't mm -hmm. hurt. Doesn't hurt. Thank okay. you. Thank you no, for calling disease, in. Okay. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm going to do a show tomorrow at 1.30 on the network transformation talk radio tomorrow at 1 30 pacific on lyme disease right here on the network wouldn't she have had it. to be bit, uh, bitten though by a tick wouldn't she have had yes to have a tick uh, yes right, and, so and and it's not only that right i mean i could go into transfusions and the whole business but yes and i want to say you don't always get that um uh, bullseye right right and okay. so mm -hmm. and you have to understand that the size of the tick that bites you that carries the co-infections is not the big fat tick 
Like it's not the big fat tick like you pull off your dog. Yeah. It's the little teeny one. But anyway, I don't want to alarm you. I'm not sure why that came up for me to tell you. It's just a it's, and, and just it's a, a right. And like Dr. Pat said, it's, it's a possibility. So so yeah. thank you, Jerry, yeah, for calling in and God bless you. And yeah, thank you. you know, you're on the right you're track. Welcome. Yeah, uh, thank you. Great. You're a good Great. you're a good Thanks grandmother. So Man. <laughs> yeah, I wish you were my grandma. Um <laughs> Brett. Hello, next caller. We have Marie from Florida. Hi there, Marie. Hi, Marie. Welcome to the hey. show. Hi, hi, Dr. Pat, and hi, Mark. It's Marie. I called in six weeks ago, and yeah. I just wanted to valid. I wanted to validate something. Uh, you okay. guys helped me out a lot, and thank you All right. so much. All right, you had spoken to me about, you said there was a female spirit coming through, and you said you see lots of greens, 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 greens. And you said it may be possibly somebody that you work with. And yes, you are right on, because afterwards, uh, my first boss, she used to tell me to eat everything green because it was good, every green vegetables and stuff, because it was good for me. And she worked with me. And she's the one that, that mentioned that, you know, I need to take it easy with the panic, you know, attacks, and which I've been doing. I've been working on that. And so I just want to tell you, you were, everybody that's listening here that heard my the show the other one I was on, you were definitely, oh my goodness. So you were yes. right on. And then, yeah, and I don't know if it's possible or not. You helped me with my husband. I have just one more question. If it's even possible, if he comes through. And um, and I told him to be here today. Okay. To with you okay. To tell you. So. All right. Well, and I hope he was obedient. I hope in I hope in his life on in his earth skin he was <laughs> obedient. Let's see how that works out. You know what? You know what is so funny, Marie. When you said my husband, I got a male energy coming forward, and he's holding up a red lollipop. You know those old fashioned? I guess they still make uh, lollipops. Yeah. And the little cellophane, and it had that red, you know, cherry flavor. He's handing you oh, yeah. a cherry flavored yellow uh, uh, lollipop. Now, Cherry, and it's interesting, our last caller was Cherry, but it could be a name like Barry or Gary, similar to that, or there could be something about Cherry or Cherry Lollipops, okay? But he is handing you that. Um, it's And I remember when I was a kid and you went to the doctor or the dentist, yeah, the dentist definitely, here, eat the sugar so it'll be back, <laughs> um, you know, but, but it's kind of like, you know, when you're on the way out and they would give you the lollipop, so... Does that make sense to you in any way, Marie? No, I um no, uh, but lest the red color means something. Maybe there's some significance. Oh, to hold the on, color hold on. Red. You're on the you're on the right track. See, um, first off, when I give uh, private sessions, I do an orientation at the beginning, and I tell people to avoid going directly to no because no, 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 um, is like slamming the door in the spirit's face. We want to keep it open. And you did the right thing. You know, first you said no, but you said, but then maybe because your interpretation is more important than mine. I'm just the conduit for the message. So when I say red, like the lollipop red, don't worry about how it applies just to your husband. What does that mean to you? Um, I just, I, you know, right now I'm just thinking, you know, I you're no 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 you're to, thinking this, you're not feeling yeah. you're 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 thinking don't think feel yeah okay. beautiful okay. red color okay. what do you feel? feel beautiful red color oh i did see you know at the beach there was kind of a reddish color out in the distance maybe that no maybe you're thinking that. again you're not yeah. feeling yeah. see no. yeah yeah see um marie um you're you, in my raft technique which i explain in my book the afterlife frequency recognize accept feel yeah. don't think and then trust you're, you're thinking think 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 and that's causing a block red this could mean romantic love this could mean passion this could mean energy okay and then there's the cherry flavor see you're getting so analytical you're creating a block so i want you to think 
I okay. cannot think, but I want you to feel. But we got a lot of other callers yeah. that we need to get to, so okay. I'm going to let All you right. go. Can I yeah, just, let me uh, let me ask okay. you a question. Right. No, can wait, I wait, just, wait, 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 wait. No. My... Okay. One minute. My one minute. Was, was just my question was just if if because I had him move some doors and bookcase did did I did I was that anything to do with his passing? That's all I want to know. If he can just tell me that, and I promise I won't. I'll be done. He, he said no. No. And well, he said it like yeah. that. He goes, no. <laughs> yeah. No. Hey, you know what? We think okay. that we are, okay. we have Thank so you. much. Listen, I got a question for you. Who's Roxanne? Roxanne. Who's Roxanne? I just know that song. You know that song? You know, I don't know sing the song, song for me. Song, sing it. Roxanne. Go ahead. Sing the song. Go ahead. Roxanne. Roxanne. Oh, you don't want me to sing on here. Everybody uh, No, but up. listen you to know? me. Oh, no, but my, here's my question. <laughs> Did he sing that song with you, Roxanne? No, not that I, no, no. So Roxanne, just you, no. not him. She, she's uh, doing the no, 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 no syndrome yeah, she again. Is. Yeah, she yeah. is. Uh, so just Marie, go, I, do me a favor. Uh, we got to run, but I got one yeah. thing to tell you. Okay. I need you to go look in your closet and tell me what the red dress is, okay? All right. All right. Okay, let's, all right. Let's, 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 so, but everything's good, Mark, right? Okay, everything's good. No, <laughs> Everything my is. Fault. Okay. All right, I think the red, look, I'll, I'll just interpret it for you. He's handing you a red lollipop because this week was Valentine's Day, and that means he loves you, and your relationship was filled with deep emotional love and passion, and he's smiling, and he's when you said, oh, did he die because I had him move some stuff? He goes, no. So, Marie, stop overthinking. Your Thank husband you. loved you in this Thank world. He loves much. you on the other side, and and begin to feel and stop thinking so much. We'll leave I need that you to just you. send us a Thank picture of the red so dress. Much. Thank right. you. Hey, Thank you let's, so much, you guys. You're Take welcome. Care. God bless. I know right, she's God got. A, I know she has got a red dress in that closet. Uh, Brett, let's take a very, very short break, and then we're going to go right back to the phones. Everybody, you're listening to the psychic and the doc. We'll be right back. Y'all should have been on break with us. Y'all should have been on the break with us because Mark and I were like picturing all the all the moments of red dresses. And, uh, you know, there's a great scene in The Matrix, the original Matrix movie. You will never forget that red dress. Mark, before we start, how do people find out about you? How do they get a copy of all your books? All my books. Um, visit my website, which is afterlifefrequency.com which is just like my latest book, The Afterlife Frequency. And I got a lot of stuff coming up. And if you go to my website and you go to the calendar of events, you'll see uh, what I've got uh, coming up. I've got a number of online Zoom groups that I call Light Circles, limited to six people. So everybody gets a reading and you can get tickets for that. Next week, I'm going to be in Houston. Um, so everybody in Texas and Houston, I look forward to seeing you. I'm going to be on Great Day Houston, the CBS KHOU morning talk show. And then I'll be at Body, Mind, and Soul in Houston for two nights of an evening of spirit communication, where I'll be doing what I do on this show, but in person, and unfortunately without Dr. Pat. Um, and so there's a lot of things coming up. And also, um, I'm going to ask for everybody's vote. I've been nominated for two OMI, um, O-M-M-I-E awards. Um, the Afterlife Frequency is up for Best Metaphysical Book of the Year, and I, I'm very humbled and honored by that. And then there's also, um, I was nominated uh, for Best Medium, uh, which, you know, I'm, I'm very, very honored. So you can find out about all of that uh, at afterlifefrequency.com. Um, and the thing is, Dr. Pat, I heard from Tony Sweet in, in uh, Los Angeles in Hollywood, and he said that the psychic and the doc has been nominated for, I think, three different Parapod awards. It's a podcast award. And technically, I mean, we are a podcast, but we're a live show. Um, so Dr. Pat has done it again, and yeah, we're, up for, we're up for uh, some awards. So this is an exciting year. Um, and so I want to thank Dr. Pat for, for founding the Transformation Network and bringing all of this positive talk radio and live stream out to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And by the mm -hmm. way, this is the 20th year for the Dr. Pat show. 
wow. uh, formerly known as crust busting. Uh, I am excited. Let us go, Brett. Bring them on. All right. We have Susie from California. Hi there, Susie. Hi. Hi, Susie. How are you? How can we help you? Hi, darling. You guys are so cool. Thank you. <laughs> you help so many of us. We really appreciate you. Thank you, Susie. So Thank great you. to hear from you. I just want to know if there's any messages. I, I feel okay. like I'm on the right path and all that good okay. stuff. So. <laughs> oh, so hey, you're, hold, in the, hold, you're in the calm. Hold on, Susie. I got a female energy barging right on in. I mean, this, the doors <laughs> are flying open. She's coming in, you know, and I love her. She was an elderly woman. Um, it definitely has kind of a grandmother look, but not a grandmother energy, real, real energetic, feisty. Um, and with her, um, getting this sense of with her heart, um, a lot of plaque buildup, a lot of blockages in her heart, definitely cardiovascular issues. Now my low back is hurting. So she was having heart problems, issues in her low back in the L three, four, five area, uh, also with her hips. And the thing is, despite um, her heart slowing her down and uh, the orthopedic and neurological strain toward the end, she seemed like she was still with it right up until she transitioned. Um, mm. And I'm also getting a sense of dehydration. What this indicates to me is that prior to passing, she must have um, probably not been eating or drinking. So she could have been uh, very possible under medical care or hospice. Does any of this make sense to you? Well, yeah, my mom had a lot going on. And okay. she was real tiny, real tiny. Now, she got very to, weak, but, you know. Okay, connected to you or your mom, is there an Aggie, a Maggie, or an Agnes? It doesn't have to be her. It could be um, someone connected to you or her. Because she's talking about it's either Aggie a, or an, Agnes. I have Go ahead. everybody on the other side. <laughs> right. Uh, it could be right. an aunt or a grandmother. Okay, that may fit those names. I have an Aunt Margaret. Okay, would they have called her Maggie at all? No. All right. No. I want you to take that here. If we're doing a one-on-one -on -one reading, I'd have more time with you. Yeah. You're, right, you're no, right, no, knowing. Right. Don't do the no, no, no thing. Write down right, Aggie, right, right. Maggie, or or uh, Agnes, because that's going to make sense to you later on. Let me yeah. get back to your okay. mom. And what cool. she said is, she said, you abound in the pearls of wisdom, and you have taken <laughs> the baton. Listen to me. You've taken the baton that I had as the wise woman, and now you are the one who people seek for counsel. So this is very, <laughs> very good what's going on yeah. in your life. And she's holding up in her hands a bunch of pearls. Now, um, pearls are the birthstone for the month of June. So because that's the birthstone. So this could be a birth, death, anniversary, or event, which may be connected to her or you or someone close to either of you within June. But because it's June, it could also be a name like Pearl, because of pearls, for a female J uh, name connected to you or her, like a June, Jean, Jane, Jody, or Janet but she's handing these pearls to you unless you have some okay. piece of jewelry of significance with pearls. Anything there? Uh, not at this time. Okay. Oh, but there is. Okay, so go ahead, Dr. Pat. I really appreciate um, it, but no, that's I don't okay. know I gotta, a lot of my ancestors. No, you don't need to because sometimes these clues, they're not immediately related. So the minute you say pearls, here's what I think about. I don't know where you live in, uh, you're in California, right? I don't know where in yeah. California, but are you close to the beach at all? Uh, Northern, yeah. But the, yeah, okay. So there are so many things you could think about. I only have one question. I'm going to let you go. Who's from Texas? Anybody? Who's that? Texas, What's the state that? of Texas. Uh, I Yeah, that's from my mother's side of the family's from. I was What born there. do you think the football team in Texas is called? Cowboys. No, not that team. The Aggies. Oh, oh I I don't follow it. <laughs> Mark? Oh. I know, Mark? I know. The Aggies. Yeah, yeah. Look, um, yeah I want you to go look thing. that yeah. up. Yeah, go, go look that up yeah. because he's asking you about Aggies. 
Okay. I just asked you about cool. Texas and found out like your peeps were born in the Texas. Bingo. The football. <laughs> the football. <laughs> Texas hey, A&M. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> but I, I, we can't help you with the relationship here, but there is one. So just get yourself on, just check out Texas a and M. I I really think okay, they're the gotcha. Aggies. Okay, thank you. Something about somebody in Texas. I am, I am like sure of it. Yeah, and it thank very you, well Susie. could be yeah, a female J name. So, all right. Well, so we'll leave that with you. And the thank whole you for family's from in. Texas. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I love this. Susie, well, you, you know, gotta, it's funny. Susie um, got to call us back and tell us. Right, because we get people that, no, 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 no. Then they call back in three weeks like, oh, my God, I got. When the minute happens. you said Aggie, I'm like, oh, that's Texas. Yeah, because Aggie, I mean, I was like. That's Agnes weird, Mark. Aggie, I was hearing like, Aggie. Yeah. I was like, where'd that come from, Mark? Okay, Brett. Well, who well, do you hold have? on, hold on. Oh. I want to say something real quick. This okay. is one of the reasons that this show is so popular is because I get this information and Dr. Pat is just a master at interpretation. And I think it has a lot to do with her life experience, but also her work as a psychologist. And the genesis for the show happened when I was on the Dr. Pat show some years ago and we had callers and I'd give them information. And the callers were like, oh, Dr. Pat came on and said, well, think of it like this. And the person said, well, that's it. And so <laughs> that's why we decided to do this show and that's why I always tell people, call in, because even if you don't understand what I'm conveying, um, it takes time for it to settle in and for you to understand it. And what's nice about Dr. Pat is she accelerates that process because <laughs> he's an objective third party who's not emotionally involved with you or your loved ones or, you know, me telling to deal right. with, the, you know, the other side. So, so that's right. Yeah. Okay. All right, Dr. Pat, back to you. All right, <laughs> let's go to the phones. But Susie, Aggies is A-G-G, -G, right? Google it. Go ahead and Google them. A-G-G-I-E. Okay, Brett, who do you have? All right, we have Felice from Massachusetts. Hi, Felice. Hi, Felice. How are you? Oh, hello. Hello. Lovely <laughs> to be here. Mark, we met um, at the IAMS conference. Oh, uh, super. In September. Yo. And let's see. I hopped on. I hopped on at the, um, at the conversation about the storm and the calm. The calm and the storm, yeah. Um, I've experienced plenty of, and I'm just, I guess I'm wondering if anyone's coming through. I've had yeah, two can... shared death experiences <laughs> and one near death experience, and I've right, never right. Hold really. Hold on, hold on, Felice, this... Felice. All right, yeah, Felice, let's, Felice, let's, Felice. let's get you some. First let's get off, you some info. Right, don't start giving me information about yourself. Okay, um, you can do that afterwards because I want to make sure it's not tainted. Um, anything that comes through, I'm getting a male energy connected to you, and he feels like he could be on your generational level. This could be a brother, a friend. Um, significant other. And what I'm getting with this uh, uh, younger guy, he looks to me like he could have been, God, he, he was thin, lean, looked like he had a good tone, muscle tone to his body. Um, definitely um, had a, a like an olive or a complexion or suntan, um, kind of had uh, a brown, shorter hair. Um, it looks like this guy was pretty athletic. And then with his passing, I'm getting this very abrupt sensation. Now, what I mean by an abrupt sensation, Felice, and I'm tasting a lot of blood, and that doesn't always mean a bleed out. This could be an internal hemorrhage, but when I get an, an impact sensation to my head, what this indicates is that this male died very unexpectedly or, or um, abruptly. Um, and I have a feeling that He's on your generational level, but maybe somebody you knew some years back. Does this make any sense to you? I mean, I can see him clear as day. Hmm. Let me get a message for you because um, I want you to think about this. This is somebody that you knew either when you had just left high school or you were in college or college age. And what he's telling you 
is that you've gotten to the point in your life where you no longer feel like you're, you know, those um, people in like in the circus and they got those sticks with the plates on them and they got all these plates spinning. He said, for the longest time, you <laughs> felt that you were juggling and spinning so many different things, but you have now gotten to the point in your life where you are no longer doing that. And he said, you'll remember me when you think about the car accident. You were not part of the car accident. He was. So this is somebody that you knew in the car accident. And he is complimenting you on, on how you have gone from being very like overwhelmed by distractions to focusing this. Mm. And um, I'll leave that with you. Dr. Pat, what's your take? I got a question. What's your relationship with you? Uh, <laughs> this was going to be weird. So I have to rephrase that question. Uh, do, do you listen to David Bowie? Do you know who David Bowie is, uh, the singer? Oh, of course I know who David Bowie is. Yes, I know who David Bowie is, and I know someone who toured with David Bowie. Um, yes. So so do you know yeah. who the, 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 David Bowie toured with David Bowie? And see, it has something to do with this person that came through, Mark. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I, I don't, I can't tell you I'm not Mark, but... When Mark was describing this person, all I kept seeing is David Bowie. And it's funny that you knew mm. somebody that toured with David Bowie. So are there they you still go. around mm -hmm. any, are they still with us, the people that were touring with the David? Yes. yes. I'm, a, I'm just going to leave it's you with that. Still with us. Okay. Yeah. I, I need you to think about that a little bit because that is the weirdest thing. I know David Bowie's been trying to reach me. I'm still mad at him for... Mm. Yeah, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll never, I'll never forgive him for giving up Ziggy Stardust. Anyway, there's something to do with Bowie. I don't know what it is, but please let us know. I know you're going to get it. I know you're going to get it. Yeah, th this guy came through. I mean, I could yeah. see him clearly. Yeah. He you dressed know? like David. I think he dressed like Bowie, not not young Bowie, older Bowie, like uh, um, China Girl Bowie you know, reinventing himself. Mm -hmm. David Bowie, here's the thing I want to leave you with. This is it. Bowie reinventing himself. So there's somebody in this cycle with you that is like Bowie in that way. Bowie was the master, masterfully talented, but the master of reinvention. So just, mm -hmm. I'll, we'll leave mm -hmm. you with that. But if it comes okay. to you, tell us. And <laughs> I will. I will for sure. And okay. can this, is this a person that, like, my brother had a few friends in high school. He was a few years younger than me that died in car accidents, died, transitioned, went to the other there we side. Go. That's and, it. Okay. Yeah. So one of those. And it, yeah. And this guy yeah. kind of looked like a lifeguard or surfer. You know, he had that V shaped trim body and he was wearing like baggies. You know, so you may want to think if your brother had a friend that would match that mm -hmm. description, there could be like mm -hmm. a Robbie or a Ronnie, something like that. So, um, but, but yeah, think about it because, you know, it's really tough on, on a show where, you know, we've only got like five minutes. And we gotta minutes. Go, you, know, you know, it's like, we're in a one-on-one -on -one yeah, 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 yeah. think about it, you know, and then it's like, oh yeah, that guy, you know, we all expect it to be the yeah, person yeah. we wanted and it doesn't always work that way. Mm -hmm. um you know somebody else you know may come through first but we i really want to thank you for calling in thank and, you uh keep listening let, it call, let us thank know you. if it comes up for you because yeah, thank you so much oh my gosh i you know what i've just heard modern love playing on the radio it's so funny about the car accident uh brett uh let's keep it going sounds great we have mary beth from florida hi mary beth welcome Hello. to the show hey how are you <laughs> Good. I am about 60% through Mark's latest book, and I have signed up for a light cir a circle in March. Um, I want to well, establish you. an after, um, yeah, uh, um, I want to establish, you know, um, a afterlife frequency connection, but having trouble because of the just extreme um, grief yeah. that's consuming me. Well, that that makes a lot of sense. In first off, when people are in a excuse me profound state of grief, it creates a block, and so you're not doing anything wrong. 
it's just part of the natural grieving process. And that's why it's recommended to wait um, four to six months after the death to engage in spirit communication, because a lot of people, they want the contact right away, obviously, because, uh, you know, mm -hmm. you love, you know, mm -hmm. you love the person who passed. And sometimes people go into a reading with a set agenda of I want, I want, I want what I want and who I want. And then that person doesn't come through because without meaning to, you're also creating a block. So, so, you know, don't beat yourself up if you're not getting the connections just yet, because in time when your emotions stabilize, then you're going to start getting the connection. But that being said, there is one, two, three, four, five different people that want to speak to you. Obviously, we don't have enough time for this, but there is a female energy <laughs> coming through and she has such a beautiful smile. Um, I'm just getting this beautiful smile. She looks like she could have been around 40 when she passed. Her hair's parted in the middle, comes down to her shoulders. A very attractive woman. And she, uh, with her, I'm feeling my head getting filled up with darkness. Now, when I say darkness, I don't mean like evil, you know, that stuff. I think something was going on with her. Like it could have been brain cancer. It could have been some type of pressure buildup, fluid on the brain or a, a, a aneurysm. That's what I mean by the darkness. And then I'm getting this exhausted sense. So it came on pretty rapidly, but it didn't take her right away. Um, but it but it was still pretty, pretty quick. Um, and the poor, poor woman, she had in a conjunction with this, and she was having kidney failure, she's having bladder issues, she was having a lot of stuff, but it all started with this pressure buildup in the head. And what she wants you to know is she's she's showing me this little tiny merry-go-round. It's like a music box, and it's real sweet and it's playing pretty music. And she said, merry-go-rounds. She said, it, that's not how life is. It isn't always just a circle with beautiful music. She said, there are bumps, there are bruises, there are derailments, and you are learning this now, but do not fear for we, meaning your collective of spirits, will guide you and help you. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going to leave that with mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you, are um, you able to take that all yeah. on? Are you able to take yeah. that in? Okay, good. Good. Yep. Yep. So I, I want you to it. pay Thank attention so to the next 24 hours. And um, I don't know if you can have a pad or a pen with you, but I just want you to just be aware of the next 24, 24, 24, maybe 24, maybe 24 plus. And I want you to just be aware. And if you get a what they call a fleeting thought, I want you to write it down. Don't ask where did it come from or who gave it to you or what does it mean? Just write it down. If you get one, you write it down. If you get a hundred, you write them down. Okay. Got that? Yeah, I think I, you know, I may have had a couple little, little signs here and there. So I'm, I'll start writing everything down. Yeah, yeah. It's really important to do it now because what Mark just did is connected you to a whole lot of people. And my sense is you're just going to need a few minutes here. And once you give yourself a few minutes and to, to just be ready to take it in, I'm just going to be curious as to what, right, just write them down. Don't organize them. Don't even look at them until Sunday. Okay. 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 And then you got to call in and tell us All what right. you found. Okay. okay. I will. Yeah. Trust me. You right. will find, you're you going to so find much. something. You bet. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, she, she's going to get a bunch of things. Um, yeah. We have time for one more. I think. Yeah, I, I think Let's we do. Yeah. One of our do fabulous it. audience, the best audience on the planet right here. Uh, Brett, we do have time for one more uh, caller. Sounds great. We have Laura from South Carolina. Hey, Laura, how are you? I'm wonderful. Thanks for taking my call. You betcha. That's where I'm Can you mom's. hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. 10 feet, okay. good buddy. All right. How can we help you? Two, two quick questions. One, I'm looking for my brooch. And the second one is how my dad's health is doing. 
Okay, let's see what comes through. Okay. Is your mother in spirit? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, hold on. Who's Elizabeth? It, My mother. Okay. Your, your <laughs> mother's right. Elizabeth? Did yes, you just say your mother? Is yeah, yeah. Her mother, a mother's Elizabeth. All right. Elizabeth's here. Okay. Um, she said, oh stop gosh. worrying. Stop worrying about the brooch. She said, stop worrying about the brooch. She said, it is, it is precious to you, but it is only a material object. And that is a painful lesson we must all learn. Uh, she said, just don't worry about it. Um, she said she doesn't want you to feel shame or guilt or a sense of loss. Um, she, she said that this object has a habit of moving from one person to the next, and that's what it does. Now, with your father's health, um, it seems like recently he's taken a turn for the more, I, I hate to use the word severe, but I'm getting this fluid buildup in, in his chest. Now, that just could be allergies. That could Ooh. be um, a phlegm buildup. But she is talking about that. But she said, the one thing I always loved about him is he's got he's a tough old guy. He's a tough guy. Yeah. So I get the sense yep. that dad's your dad's having some rough, rough times, like there's been a change, but he's not going anywhere yep. right away. OK, but what she wants Yay. you to do is she said, just make sure you shower him with love. She said, because the brooch, <laughs> while you regret regret the, 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 the misplacement of the brooch, she said, that doesn't matter. Your father knowing you love him mm -hmm. does matter. Mm -hmm. Dr. Pat? It's in a corner. Yay. It's in the brooch is in a corner somewhere. That's what I get. There's, uh, I, when you were talking about it, I, I thought about two things. I, this is going to sound odd, but just ignore me. I thought brooch, roach, roaches love corners. So I don't, I'm not going to ask, I'm not going to call you out on the show, but if you were to look in my drawers, un, unlike my best friend, Linda, you would not see everything folded so neatly. You got it? So... <laughs> Anything yeah. could be high. So you're like me, right? Just say it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say it. I thought I flushed it down the toilet. Uh, okay, that I didn't get that feeling, and man, well, roaches yeah, get well, flushed down flushed the down. toilet a lot. In my no, house. no, I, I, my, the sensation I got about it is it needed a rest. It needed a rest. I don't know why it needed a rest. Okay. But it needed it needed a rest. It needed like okay. I mean if if you, I can't oh my god, this is horrible. Um if you were to go in my t shirt drawer, you'd probably spend a week trying to find it in there, but it would be in there. <laughs> okay, you, you got it. Okay, thanks, so, guys. You I know, yeah. like you know what I'm talking about. It's attached to something. And you may have to yeah, fold everything it. in your drawers. To find you, you know, um, um, I believe it. You know, a Catholics, <laughs> we always ask St. Anthony when something's lost. And a friend of mine who's a priest, oh, I know. You know, my family always said, St. Anthony, help us find it. And he said, no, here's how you do it. Tony, Tony, turn, turn around. around. Something is lost. lost that must be found. Be found. <laughs> <laughs> that is so in this family. And that works. I mean, try it. It does try work. It, it does it work. Works. Thank you for. Told me the bedroom. That's what I'm trying to say. But it didn't tell you... me where it. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. you yeah, know you're right, not... Dr. Pat. I'm telling you, your nope, I know if I go right. in your bedroom in your dresses, I know you're gonna find like the same thing in mine, okay? But you gotta look Too carefully. Thank I you think about it's my attached. dad. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thank, thank you about you. my dad. Well, well thank, thank you. your mom. Right, bye guys. For, for thank, being, thank your mom. Uh, yes. Thank you. Wow. All right, thank you so much. Wow, what a great show. <laughs> thank you all for calling in. And look, we will make sure we're gonna. Sorry we couldn't get to everybody today, but we've got something planned. I want to thank all of you for calling in. Stacy, Janine, Faith, thank you. Please call back. If you call back next time, you guys, Stacy, Janine, and Faith, 
Brett will have your names and we'll make sure we'll do our best to get you in at the top of our next call and show. Um, Mark, what a great show. What do you think? I think this is fantastic. And I want to thank uh, Dr. Pat and Transformation Network and <laughs> um, everybody for helping out and especially our audience. You guys, yeah. thank you so very much for, for tuning in and calling in. God bless all of you. Thank you all, Brett. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jacob. And thanks to all of you for being the best audience on the planet. We'll see you all next time. Hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning into The Psychic in the Doc with Mark Anthony and me, Dr. Pat Basile, right here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hey, look, come back next week so we can explore with you more of life's many challenges and learn from fascinating guests. And you know what? Even Mark and me. We'll connect you and discover insights from people in this life and from the afterlife. Extraordinary problems? Yeah, they do. They require extraordinary solutions. But step into the world of possibilities with us on The Psychic and the Doc. That's every Thursday, 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. That's TransformationTalkRadio.com. And don't forget, we're also live face-to-face -face on Facebook.com, Transformation Talk Radio.